Hello everyone, this is Jiranjit Shil and you are watching DG Classes. Before we are going to start today's topic, let us understand that there are mainly two approaches of utility. That is, one is cardinal utility and another is ordinal utility. Cardinal utility was given by Alfred Marshall and ordinal utility was given by J.R. Higgs. According to Alfred Marshall, utility can be measured in quantitative manner. But according to J.R. Higgs, Utility cannot be measured in quantitative manner as it is a subjective phenomena. And on the basis of ordinal utility, independence curve was given. <coughs> so, we will discuss today's important topic that is independence curve. Here the definition is given. And the independence curve was given by F.Y. Ajot. Here is the definition. The definition suggests that Indifference curve is a curve that depicts various combinations of two goods and each combination shows same level of satisfaction to the consumer. And the indifference curve is based on, on these assumptions. We will understand the assumptions and then draw the diagram through which you will get the complete concept of indifference curve. So here is the assumption. The first assumption is two goods. It means that the consumer will consume only two commodities. The second one is rationality. It means that the consumer behaves rationally. That means the consumer has the ability to ability to know that whether he is gaining or losing the satisfaction. And the number three is utility is ordinal. As we have already discussed about the ordinal approach, that means the utility cannot be measured in quantitative manner as it is a subjective phenomenon. And the fourth one is diminishing marginal rate of substitution. It means that when a consumer consumes or want to consume an extra unit of one commodity, then he has to sacrifice some units of another commodity. Now, we will discuss or try to draw the indifference curve through which you will get the knowledge of the shape of the indifference curve. Here are the basic shapes of indifference curve. Suppose in OX axis we take good X and on Y axis we take an another commodity suppose good Y. And now the shape of the indifference curve will be like this. That means the shape of the indifference curve is downward sloping from the left to right. And it is generally shows by IC. That means indifference curve. The indifference curve is downward sloping. It means that the indifference curve is downward sloping because of the diminishing marginal rate of substitution. It means that suppose at, the, at this point the consumer consumes his commodity it means that the consumer will consume this amount of good y and this amount of good x so by consuming that combination he will achieve him or he is achieving the satisfaction and at the same at, at similarly suppose the consumer will consume at this point then he has to sacrifice some amount of good y to get this amount of good x so in in the diagram or in the curve both the points shows the same level of satisfaction to the consumer so here in the diagram each point or each combinations of good x and good y will show the same level of satisfaction to the consumer so by joining these points will get a curve which is known as indifference curve. So <clears throat> indifference curve is a curve which shows the conversions of two goods and through which the consumer is gaining or achieving the same level of satisfaction whether the conversion is in the upper left section or in the lower section. And the curve is, it is important to notice that the curve is convex to the origin. The curve is convex to the origin because of the diminishing marginal rate of substitution. So hopefully you will get the 
uh, knowledge or concept of indifference curve. So thank you for watching video and in our next video you will get the properties of indifference curve. So thank you for watching.